Uh, welcome everybody. Today's uh, webinar is how to print from your device. So let's get started. There's a couple of different devices you can print from. Um, these include computers, laptops, tablets, smartphones, basically anything that is smart you can print off of, which is great. Here's a couple of good printers to consider purchasing. Um, there's Epson, Canon, HP, and Samsung Express. And Best Buy offers a wide range of wireless printers you can buy, which is it's really useful. Here's a couple of pros and cons of printing from a device. Some of the pros are that it's short print runs, uh, vibrant colors, inline finishing, it's at a low cost, of choices for paper, there's no gripper edge, and there's convenient and quick turnaround time. So it's much faster than having to send a document to a library or print shop. And some of the cons are that it simulates PMS. There's a small overall paper size. Longer runs can cost money. It can't really run dark colors very well. It has a belt drive and the quality of print is sometimes not as good as you would find in a, some kind of store. So here's how you set up your wireless printer. So the first step is you put the printer within range of your wireless router. Second, you power on the printer. Thirdly, you connect the printer to your wireless network, either by using the built-in menu system or for the WS push to connect. You press the WS, WPS button on your printer and on your router. Or C, you can connect the computer to your printer first via USB. So this is applicable for some older models. And fourth, you add the printer to your computer. So on Windows, you click on the control panel and then devices and printers, and then add a printer. And then on Mac, you can click on the Apple menu, and then system preferences, and then click print and scan, and then click the plus button. So here is how you print off slides from webinars, such as this one. If you're on a computer or a laptop, first you want to go to the Google Drive website. So it's linked over there. Then you want to click on the webinar presentation you want to print off. After that, you look at the top left corner of the screen and there's a little printer icon and you can click on that. Or you can click the file button and then click print. Or if you're on a Mac, you can press down the command and P buttons. So that's a little shortcut there. Now after that, a pop-up will ask you to save it as a PDF or PPT, which is a PowerPoint presentation file format. Both of those work. Then you press save and it will save it as a file to your device. Now after this, you'll be able to open it from the files on your computer. Now the sixth step is to locate the file on your computer and open it. Then once again, click file and then print. Then a pop-up will arrive asking you to select the printer, the number of copies, et cetera. There's a bunch of settings there that you can basically you know, modify. And then when everything is as you want it, you press print, print, and hopefully it'll print it for you. Now, if you want to print from your smartphone or tablet, first you want to go to the Google Drive app. If you don't have that, you can find it on the App Store or the Play Store, depending if you're on Windows, if you're on, uh, sorry, iOS or Android. Then you click on the webinar presentation you'd like to print. Then you click on settings, which is the three dots in the corner. And then you scroll down and click on print. You select a printer and then click print. And here's some other ways to print for your device. These are a little bit more situational. So if you have a Bluetooth printer, you can confirm first that the power of the printer is on and the Bluetooth indicator is lit. After that, make sure to switch on Bluetooth on your phone or tablet. So to do that, you go to settings and click on Bluetooth and select your Bluetooth printer from the list of devices to pair with. Now, if you're using Google Cloud Print from your Android device, you first want to connect your network printer to Google Cloud Print directly, if possible. Now, if your printer supports Google Cloud Print, you'll be able to connect it to your Google account directly from the printer's built-in menu. And you just follow the prompts to log in with your Google account. And uh, make sure that this is the same Google account that is associated with your Android device. Second, you want to download the Cloud Print app 
on your Android device. This will allow you to access your Google Cloud print printers from your Android. And you can download it from free from the Google Play Store. After that, you want to print from your Android apps. So once Google Cloud Print is installed, you can print your Google Cloud Print printers from any app that supports printing. Now, if you're on an Apple device, like an iPhone or iPad, you can use AirPrint. So first, you want to determine if your printer supports AirPrint. So this feature allows iOS devices to send print jobs directly to the printer. So you want to look for the AirPrint logo on your printer for an AirPrint option in the printer's settings menu. Some printers may need to be configured to use AirPrint first, and AirPrint pr printers will need to be connected to the same network as your iOS device. Now, after that, you want to open the app that you want to print from. So not all apps support app print, but most apps from Apple and other major developers do. You'll be most likely to find air print options in apps that can open documents, email, and pictures. After that, you want to open the item you want to print. So use the app to open the document, picture, or email that you want to print. Then tap the share button and select air print. So this will allow you to select your air print printer and make sure you're connected to the same network as the printer. Finally, you select your printer and tap print, and your file will be automatically sent to your AirPrint printer. Now, keep in mind that different printing manufacturers may have their own printing app. So for example, Canon offers their Mopria print service and Canon Print Inject. Thank you guys for listening. That's the end of the webinar. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. And we also host weekly drop-in sections from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays.